Hello everyone and welcome to the August Update Show. Um, I am your host Angelo Cisco, and with me is three of my staff because one person is missing and we want to start off with saying a big congratulations to OCF's own Becca Cholzenkowski and Nick on the birth of their beautiful son Carson James Cholzenkowski. Um, we are more than words could describe how ecstatic we are for you guys and so happy from the OCF community. Um, I want to wish you all congratulations and that we love you all very much. Now to the news, sorry. Um, first we're going to go with Rocio and she's going to talk about the girls event coming up in August. Thanks Angelo. First and foremost I'd like to apologize as this weekend was a very exciting weekend at the CrossFit Games and I left it all out on the competition floor including my voice when it came to cheering Joe Corbon. <laughs> so I'm sorry for the way I sound. In other OCF news, attention all ladies we are hosting a girls' night out, more like a girls' evening in for yoga and wine. This is to be held Saturday, August 18th, which is actually next Saturday from three to five. So OCF ladies, please join us as yoga instructor Alethea Luiselli takes us through 60 minutes of a restorative yoga practice, then stay after it and enjoy some snacks and mingling. It is BYOB and you are encouraged to please bring your favorite snacks. We will provide crackers and cheese and some meats on the side as well. Also, please arrive at least 15 minutes early to check in and register. And now on to some more details for the guys event with Angelo. So for the guys event, what we're gonna do is not restorative yoga. <laughs> So on August 18th, we're gonna meet at iCombat in Chiller Park at 10.30 in the morning. We reserved a course called Alcatraz and we are gonna laser tag the shit out of each other. <laughs> Cost is $35 per person. I'd like you to RSVP, but make sure you just show up and let's just do this. Um, Zach and I are super excited about this. If you guys have any questions, there's a Facebook invite as well as ask, you could ask Zach or I for any other details. Um, we're super excited to do this also too, um, I know it's a little bit early, but I could totally see us when we're getting done with this event going somewhere around the Rosemont area for lunch. So we're ready to make this a whole day event, if you are. And now on to Susie with the CrossFit Games recap. That sounds super fun, Angelo. Thank you so much. Hello, OCF fam. I would like to thank all of our members, first and foremost, for being so understanding uh, of us closing the gym Saturday and Sunday for the CrossFit Games. Angelo had two athletes that trained super hard and earned their spot to the games and both respectively crushed it. Michelle Fumagalli, unfortunately, after doing amazing during the cycling, ev a cycling event, which was the very first one, on the very last turn, so close to the finish line, suffered an accident and hurt herself. She dislocated and broke her wrist, uh, but even with that injury, she jumped up and ran with her bike across the finish line, finishing that event. Nothing stopped her. She showed us what true sportsmanship is like, and we appreciate her for that. We wish Michelle a speedy recovery. Hope to see her killing it in the gym very soon. Joe Corvo, who is one of our own, decided he wasn't at the games to play and crushed it. Coming in to start off with, uh, he was in 14th place and he rose up all the way to eighth place. Thank you OCF fans that showed up and those that were originally watching from their phones and computers. The support from our community is the best. We will be seeing everyone at the CrossFit Games next year. Now on to Zach for some more member news. Thanks Susie. August member of the month is Alex Maldonado, the typical member of the 530 class. Don't let his soft-spoken nature uh, fool you. He doesn't let that stopping stop himself from challenging himself to get better each and every day. Six months into CrossFit, he signed up for the CrossFit Open. He then participated in Strong and the OCF in-house competition. Most recently, he asked for additional work to work on his weaknesses outside of class time. He shows up consistently and always works hard so please make sure to congratulate Alex on being August member of the month. Check-in for charity for August is Run Domestic Violence Out of Town, and it is brought to us by Natalie Kempla. Natalie pledged this charity because two important women in her life have been victims of domestic violence. Natalie joined this team because she feels that women are too afraid to seek out help, and she hopes that raising money and awareness will encourage them to do so. Run Domestic Violence Out of Town is a group of runners that supports 10 domestic violence agencies and shelters in the Chicago area. They aim to raise money and awareness for domestic violence, prevention, and supportive services. Please make sure to check in using hashtag check in for charity and hashtag run domestic violence out of town. Now on to Angelo to close this out. 
Um, that's all the news that we have for August. Thank you so much for watching. I just want to say again, congratulations to Becca and Nick. That is by far the most exciting news, and we love you all very much. Very happy for you guys. See you next month.